You're three to Hwadiv, right? Vanasha sent me. What happened? I got hornswoggled, that's what. Vanasha batted her lashes, wiggled her hips, and promised us treasure. Clear a path for the royals, she said. Sneak past the garrison and skewer a few watches. Hardly a bother. Little did we know there was a damned monstrosity lurking underground. When will I learn not to gawk at skinny girls? So Vanasha needed safe passage for Nasadi and Idaman, but it didn't work out? She made it sound so sweet and easy. Find the best path to the lake, make sure it's safe. What could go wrong? Turns out, a lot. Like bloody murder in the grinding jaws of a heinous death beast. Why do you think Vanasha swindled you? My crew came to Sunfall because we heard the bounties were fat. She offered us the fattest one of all, enough to retire on. It's my own damned fault for taking the bait. Should have known I'd end up with a rupture in my useful parts. Something attacked you from underground. Oh, you picked that up, did you? I wondered why the Shadow Kaja didn't pay attention to the pass. Well, they don't need to. A rock-eating demon guards it for them. It tunnels in the dirt, breaks through the earth, and blasts rocks from its stinking face. I barely escaped. My comrades weren't so lucky. I might shed a tear if they weren't all cutthroats and cheaters. Fanasha will be here soon with Nasadi and Idaman. I've got to destroy that thing in the past before they arrive. You're not too bright, are you? <sighs> well, we didn't last long against it, but I'll tell you what I know. It has armor everywhere, a little less at the rear. And when it goes underground, it will lose track of you if you're quiet. You might even be able to keep it from going under altogether if you hit its big crooked arms hard enough. That's all I can offer, friend. I promise to look solemn at your funeral before I hit the bar. Okay, no more sneaking. Son, I can't believe it. I thought that evil rock chewer would grind you up. After that miracle, all we can do is wait. Vanasha will be here soon, along with a boat that'll take the royals across the lake. Ah, 
Ah, little Huntress. Glad you accepted my invitation to play bodyguard. Where are your men, Huadive? It looks like something chewed you up and spat you out. That's pretty much exactly what happened. The way is clear. Can we go? I like how you always cut to the chase, in this case, literally. It won't be long before you're followed. Don't be afraid, your radiance. We've got excellent protection. Oh dear, here come the Shadow Carter, and they're very angry with me. I'll hold them off. Very noble of you, but when I start a fuss, I like to finish it. Not that your assistant isn't welcome. Khwadiv, get Itaman and his mother to the shore, carefully. So it comes to this. I must say, after two years under the heel of these zealots, I'm ready to extract a little blood. Nearly ready. Here they are. But I suspect we're not done. More of the bastards. Get ready. I worked up a bit of a sweat. I don't want to jinx it, but we might be in the clear. A bit late, aren't we, gentlemen? Sorry, ma'am. The boat's waiting. Damn. I spoke too soon. This one's mine. Get to the boat. You know, this time I think I might be out of my league. If anything happens to her, I will be very cross. We're not going anywhere. Get going. The boat is waiting for you. The boat's waiting. Go! Not exactly a royal barge, is it? Oh well. Defectors can't be choosers. Let's get aboard, shall we?
You've done a good thing. Maybe even ended a war. Maybe. But my war just keeps going. Welcome home. You have nothing to fear. You are now under the protection of the Sundom. My protection. As is your mother, she will not be harmed. You have my word, the law of the sun. Aloy, it seems I see your influence everywhere. You've done so much for the Sundom, and it will always be appreciated. You have my thanks. May you walk in the light. Appalling. I spent two years in the Forbidden West setting this up, and the redhead gets all the credit? I'm still getting paid, right? You'll be lucky if I let you live. I couldn't have done this without you. When we meet again, I'll give you a proper thanks, I promise.